When it comes to scorched earth, caves are essential for staying hidden. So we proudly present top five best caves on scorched earth. Coming at number 5, this first cave can be found at 59.1 latitude and 16.2 longitude, and then here it is on the map. Now this cave is a brand new cave with scorched earth, and it is the Wyvern Cave. So this can be found in the Wyvern Scar, and I know what you're thinking, because some of the Wyvern Scars have these little kind of caves. No, th this is a full on cave in here, so it's not like one of those weird kind of caves. This is a full on cave that you can fully build in. So anyways, coming in here into the main entrance, as you can see, it's actually a pretty decent size. You have a lot of room for some dinos and a lot of room for a base. Only issue is in here, I would wait until cliff platforms come out. Because attempting to build in here with lava is going to be kind of a pain, I will admit that. But yeah, it's going to be super hot in here too. So make sure that you have um, ACs and all that kind of stuff. But that's why this one is at number 5. Just because it's not the best cave, however, it is still a cave. So inside here, is I would. this is where I would honestly put the main base. Overall, because it is more flat through here and you have a lot more room. But, I mean, it's not a terrible cave, honestly. Like, for it being a wyvern cave, it's really not that bad at all. And you even have a straight, uh, a, like, water source in here. And then, yeah. So, coming over here, it expands even more. You have about, I think, three rooms in here. And, it again, it is kind of awkward to build in. But, if you, can if you can learn how to build in this properly, it'll honestly make for a pretty good location. Just trying to defend that entrance is going to be a little bit tricky, so I will admit that. So yeah, over here, it just kind of loops around. Uh, there is a good amount of water in here, so you can potentially breed water dinos in here, depending on what you're trying to breed. Because there is one area where it is deep enough to actually breed water dinos. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's not a terrible cave to live in. So if you're looking for one of the less popular spots, this will definitely do for you. And coming at number 4, this next one can be found at 27.9 latitude and 29.3 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this one, I will admit, is much, much better than the last one. But it's still nothing compared to what we have for the number one spot on this list. So upon entering this cave, you are entered into this straight up pitch black area. Hopefully Ark fixes that. But anyways, coming through here, it does open up into a wider and taller cave. However, it is still kind of awkward in here. So building a turret wall to try to defend this one is going to be a little bit tricky. I will admit that. However, if you just spam turrets everywhere, you should be honestly be, uh, be fine. Except this cave is 6x damage, just to make that clear. So anyways, coming back in here. It's really just a bunch of long hallways, I'm gonna be honest, there's really nothing too crazy with this cave. Uh, but yeah, there's two little uh, different areas that you can go to, one leading into the water and then one that is on the ground over here. So you have an area for water breeding, a little bit of flat area over here for actually building, but overall it's not that big. I mean, it's a good sized cave, but again, with it being kind of awkward, you don't have a ton of room to work with in here. However, this one does not... It's not really covered in lava and is insanely hot, so that's why I have this one at uh, number four. But yeah, anyways, coming back here, again, just more hallways. <laughs> that's pretty much all that this cave really is. It opens up into a little bit of a bigger room. You have two different ways to go. That way kind of loops around, and then down here is where the cave still goes on. So there's a couple cave drops in here, nothing too wild. Uh, however, this is the main area back here. And then there is actually an, another room, which is the artifact room, but it's really not that big, so I didn't really show it. There's really nothing to build in there. But yeah, this is your main room. You can maybe build a good size base in here, and it should work pretty decent, honestly. So as long as you know what you're doing and know how to build a proper platform, this cave should work. This video is sponsored by Mitra 9. Mitra 9 is a kava and kratom seltzer company that quite literally makes you feel good. My favorite flavor is tropical. Now, kava and kratom give you a similar effect to alcohol, just without the impairment. It's more similar to a high. Mitra 9 has really helped me get through long, stressful days. Use my code OUTCAST for 20% off at mitra9.com. Must be 18 or 21 in some states. Coming at number 3, this next one can be found at 58.8 latitude and 47.8 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this one is known as Central Cave. Central Cave has always been a pretty popular cave for me. And overall, I've actually built in this a couple times, and it's been a really, really good cave. With this small entrance, you can really not... I mean, it's pretty hard to fit any dino in here, to be honest. The only dino that I, I think can fit under that is a turtle for soaking. Everything else has to be thrown out. But yeah, coming in, 
you are actually able to build in here now because with old scorched earth they made it so you cannot build on that entrance you could finally build on that entrance which is super super nice anyways coming through here it's pretty much the same layout as old central just with slightly better graphics and you'll see what i mean however towards the back they do change it up a little bit so i do like that quite a bit but yeah over here as you can see it's the same layout same pathway there's nothing too crazy in here you don't have a ton of room to really do anything until you get back into this room now this room you can do a little bit with but still again it's going to be a little bit awkward to work with it still has this nice little crouch entrance right here which is super nice and it leads you all the way back into this room you know you got your little ruins on the side and then it turns down into here now this is your main area for the base again this cave's always been a little bit awkward to build in but if you know how to do it properly with the platforms it can make for a massive base so as long as you know what you're doing and you can build proper platforms on here make it super flat put a bunch of layers on it this cave should be perfect for you uh but yeah overall it's not a terrible cave to, to live in so if you're looking for a pretty good spot this is a good one for you coming at number two this one can be found at 78.2 latitude and 76.2 longitude and then here it is on the map now a lot of you guys are already gonna know what this one is this is church cave now however it doesn't fully look like a church anymore i'll admit they did kind of make that a lot bigger and added a lot more room i do like it a lot i'm, I'm like i'm gonna be honest uh but yeah coming in here completely different layout right away so instead of it going all the way down it just instantly turns to the right and then opens up into this actually much much bigger room i actually like this quite a bit it does really make a huge difference with trying to defend that entrance so they actually nerf that quite a bit i do like it which means that somebody can't get built up make some crazy turret uh turret wall or turret tower on that entrance but yeah, coming through here, same layout, you know, like usual, take that little turn, come down here. So that's always nice. Then they added these nice little crystals in here. I do like that. These entrances are a little bit smaller, which is nice because defending it's going to be a little bit easier. And then you come down here, same little layout for this uh, underpath right here. And then same layout for this as well. It's overall not a terrible layout what they did. I do like what they did with, with um, Church Cave. It does make it a huge difference. But yeah, coming through here. As you can see, they really did change this up a good amount too. It still has the same style, just with extra crystals, uh, extra trees. And then they uh, got rid of the ruins and kind of pushed it more into the wall so you have more room to build here. I do like that. The artifact room is still the exact same. So, you know, nothing too crazy with it. I think it's a little bit longer, actually. It might be. Um, I'm not 100% sure if the pit is still there, so I'm, I'm sure you can die down there, but it doesn't look like it on uh, this one. But yeah, coming over here, you got your same style with that second entrance over here. And overall, it's a pretty good cave. I think they did a really, really good job with it, to be honest. And finally, coming at number one, this can be found at 73.5 latitude and 40.1 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now, this is the Red Ob Cave. I'm not going to lie. This might be one of the most overpowered caves on this game to this day. And I said that last video. I will admit, I did. However, this topped it. This absolutely topped it. Now coming into here, first of all, you have that tiny entrance and then this leads into a water entrance, which already means that raiding this is going to be a pain. Water equals pain. Anyways, coming through here, I actually looked here, in here a couple times. I didn't even notice that there was this whole area up here. But yeah, coming up here, it opens up into this massive area up here, which is then a nice little hallway, which leads you in. This hallway alone is going to be hard to raid. If somebody can build that properly, it's going to be a real pain for getting in here. So yeah, and if that doesn't make it any better, Coming in here, it opens up into this absolutely insane cave. This, I, I'm going to be honest, I think this is the biggest cave on Ark to this day. Other than Center. Center is going to top it off. But the, the, as of right now, this is the biggest cave. Anyways, coming in here, tons of room, lots of waterfalls. It's an um, amazing looking cave. Only issue that I do have with this, there's no centrally flat areas to build in, in here. So it's kind of a mess. It's kind of all over the place. But the amount of room that you do have in here is insane. Just know it's going to be a little bit awkward in some areas, but I'm sure you guys can find a nice sort of flat area somewhere in here. Personally, I couldn't find a big enough area for like a full base to fit. However, you're just going to have to spread some stuff out. Now, back up here, I tried to go up here. That didn't work. I, it kind of stopped me from going up, up there. But I'd, put, I'd honestly put a main base maybe back in here or just higher up because it's going to be a harder raid. But yeah, overall, not a bad cave at all. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new and hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.